This is an example of what coral reef ecosystems should look like in the Great Barrier Reef. But what we're seeing today are reef ecosystems that look a lot like this. This is what a reef looks like when it's died. Misty Australia New Zealand is a new program at MIT and in its pilot year they asked me what are you interested in and at the same time I saw report after report about the Great Barrier Reef having its worst bleaching event in history. I went to about 11 different universities in Australia, from James Cook University to the Australian Institute of Marine Science to see what Australia is doing to help the reef effort and if MIT could be involved. Now I'm here on the Great Barrier Reef in Australia at the Orpheus Island Research Station with five MIT students and they're working on a number of different projects. Look at that. This is a portable drifter. I joined into this project with the design already there. I had to modify this a little bit. I've been working on calculations and how to make this pretty much float. They currently have a lot of drifters which sit at the surface of the water and kind of drift with the ocean current and gather in situ data, but they want to work on lowering the environmental impact of these drifters. And there's a lot of constraints there, like it needs to last six months and then biodegrade. And there's not something that like exists for that right now. That's where a lot of the materials research came in, and like this is a very like first prototype. We're working with the Australian Institute of Marine Science, or AIMS. I'm working with their engineering team on one of their robots adding a machine vision camera and this camera would allow the machine to make decisions on its own based off of what it sees. For instance, if it sees a large balmy of coral, it will recognize that as coral, know not to go near it, and will change its path. We are attempting to rear giant triton snails because they've never before been reared and they are one of the only known predators of the crown of thorns starfish which devastates the Great Barrier Reef. A tank that I built here was the wave tank, I call it. The larvae will move back and forth in the water column, and we're trying to get them to feel at home inside of a tank. A lot of the coral are dying due to increase in temperature, so they're trying to find out which species can survive the warmer temperatures and hopefully grow them here and then replant them to help rebuild those ecosystems. We've gotten to come to this unique part of the world that many people, many Americans especially, don't get to come to. Of that small amount of people, very few of them get to come to this island, get to see what happens here. But this is like no other experience I've ever had before. It's absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. I, you know, I think it's a combination of the group and the location and just the work as well. And Ames has just it's given us so many opportunities. Everyone at JCU and Ames have been so inspirational. They're all here for the same goal, to, to learn and to teach and to, to share experiences. And the opportunities really are endless on this island and in this place on the Great Barrier Reef for engineers. <laughs>